Mike Bond joined now by the former UFC heavyweight champion, Francis Ngannou, who is 10 days away from his return to mixed martial arts at PFL Battle of the Giants against Henan Ferreira. Uh, Francis, man, you haven't fought mixed martial arts in 991 days, and we are rapidly close, closing in. Um, did you miss fighting in MMA? Are you excited to be back? Yeah, I miss fighting MMA, but not to the point to count the day as you. <laughs> I don't know exactly how, how many days that was but now i know yeah and I, I know boxing was like such a dream of yours and you were able to do some amazing things with those two fights um but did you always know you know the road would lead back here and that you would check off this box with pfl that commitment you made to yes of course because um even before i go to boxing um this contract was signed already i think we announced uh this uh signing a uh, long time ago and then uh, with all the the thing that was coming into it, you know, the PFL Africa, uh, the fighting advising board and all the stuff that was done back in May, even before the first uh, boxing match uh, was signed. Yeah. Do you feel like so far, I know you, you know, you haven't stepped in the cage yet, but all the other stuff that's happening, you know, the, the Africa stuff, the board, do you feel like they've lived up to everything that they've kind of promised you and that you guys discussed? Yes, so far, yes. So far, everything is going well. But uh, don't you worry. I don't hesitate to remind them what exactly is the line here. Uh, what was the agreement? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I assume the hardest parts of camp are over now. And your first time, as I said, in a couple of years doing like a mixed martial arts camp. Um, I know you had like the surgery after the fight with Gone and everything. What was it like, you know, testing out the knee, uh, kicking takedowns, defending takedowns? I don't know how much of that you're going to have to do in this fight, but going through a camp to prepare that, did your, did your body hold up well? Yes, my body is holding up well. I mean, um, yes, um, obviously I had a knee surgery that was, but that was like over two years, two years and a half now. And then uh, it took me quite a long time, over a year to like really get back. But um, now I'm very strong. By the time that I get back into fight, I get very strong. So, yes, I can kick. Even though kicking is not like my uh, cup of tea, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I do kick. Yeah. Uh, what about the weight? I know, you know, your last MMA fight, you're around 257. I think for the boxing fights, you were like 272. I assume well, you have to... I was more. For uh, the boxing or for your last UFC fight? No, my last UFC fight, I was more than 257. Okay, it said here at your weigh-in results, 257, but around yeah. that range. But um, yeah, yeah. 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 Maybe, maybe. what do you think you'll be for this? Are you planning to be like 265 right at the limit, or do you have you slipped back down a little more for MMA? Um, I might be at 265 or somewhere close, maybe 265, 264, 263. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I might be at 265 or somewhere close. I mean, that's uh, pretty much where I am now. I think, like, right now, I'm like 267. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah. And how, how much do you think those boxing camps have helped like your MMA skills? Your boxing for MMA, do you notice like a difference with those smaller gloves now? I mean, we know what your skills were before you even went into those boxing camps with the hands, but right now, do you have like a different level of confidence or feeling when you put on those four ounce gloves and start punching? I think it's a quite different uh, sport, boxing and MMA. Obviously like, yes, when you from a boxing gloves to MMA gloves, like uh, you feel lighter and stronger, but you know, you, you have to know that uh, things are different uh as far as your stand and everything like your positioning you know your guard is not the same thing you know you don't put mma gloves and just stand like you are standing to for boxing you know you will get your leg you will get your leg kick uh or a takedown or stuff like that is it's quite different yeah Completely definitely. different it's two different sports basically like uh yes boxing is good um and and also like for the most part, uh, for in MMA, you always spar with big gloves, with boxing gloves. Yeah. Uh, did you have to do like a change of mentality to get back into the MMA side of it? No, no, no. no. I think the change of mentality was to go to, into boxing, but not to come into the MMA side. 
Yeah, it feels like home. I, I can do it. I can do MMA while sleeping. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, you've had a few face-offs with Henan. You know, you did the press conference and then the in cage stuff. That one, he was kind of like beating on your chest a little bit. Um, uh, what have you made that? Like, do you feel like an intensity when you get in front of this guy? Um, what have you kind of thought of the face-offs and your interactions with him? Well, um, of that, I think it was him being um uh, being excited for the fight. Um uh, because regardless, uh, this is a, a big fight, a massive fight. Basically, for him, this is uh, his first time at this uh, at this level. So, yeah, I, I think he's been a little excited before uh, getting in the octagon, uh, before getting into the fight. He's getting a little bit pump of adrenaline that uh, might drop down really quick when he get into the fight. In yeah. Do you think, you know, going off that as well, I mean, this is the biggest moment he's ever been in his career. He's had some big fights in PFL, but this is a different level. And to you, this is just kind of another big fight in your career. Do you think that's going to be a lot for him to handle on the night of the fight? Maybe standing across from you, it might get to him the whole environment of this. This has two effects. Mm -hmm. So he can, yes, he can be a lot of pressure for him or he can really get him in his best. You know, like usually like when people manage, uh, people are hype and then they manage whether they like overdo or they just do like properly in the limit. So this has two effects. He's excited. He knows that uh, this is his ticket for for the first class. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Um, Peter Murray said in some interviews this week that, you know, there's the super fight belt on the line here and he wants the winner of these super fight championships to be defending them going forward and things like that. Uh, I believe if you win this, you would be the first fighter in MMA to win heavyweight titles in multiple organizations. So that would be a huge accomplishment for you. But um, does the idea of like defending that going forward excite you? And do you see anyone out there like beyond this that could be an intriguing challenger for this belt? Yes, I mean, um, I still have um, I still have couple MMA fight, so obviously he will be good to be the defender uh, than the challenger. <laughs> um, and uh, yes, you, you ask if I see anyone out there. I think there is a lot of people, even in the PFL roster uh, right now, or someone that are coming up because I remember last year why uh, this contract was signed. Renan Ferreira wasn't even in the picture. And I was telling people, like, watch out this guy, you know. And now he managed to uh, prove people that he's the guy. I think since then he has fought, like, four or five times, straight win. And, uh, yes. And if I wasn't on his way, he would have continued. But yeah. unfortunately, I'm, I'm on his way. <laughs> yeah, you're back. Uh, is, is the appetite to go back to have another boxing fight after this? Or do you think you maybe do a couple of MMA ones in a row here? Uh, in the row, I don't know. But uh, yes, I have an appetite to go back into boxing. That's for sure. I still have a uh, couple of fights um, in both left. What because I... I, I I will say I just turned 38. So I will say my retire, I'm targeting around 41 as average, 41, 42. Yeah. It could be 40, but this is like on just in the exceptional case. So yeah. uh, at this this time, I think I really have to enjoy it to step where inside the octagon and inside the ring and then you know have my last dance before I go home. Yeah. Well, you could go even longer. I mean, look at the uh, head of your gym in Vegas, Randy Couture. He uh, he went till he was like 45. So we know the heavyweights can go a long time. Heavyweight can go for a long time. Um, even middleweight, I think uh, Dan Anderson yes. was 46 when he fought uh, Bisping uh, the last time in London. And he he was uh, what? He was, that was in middleweight. And then uh, Glover Texera was champion at 42 he was a light heavyweight yes but the thing here you know i just i just like to say i want to uh leave the sport before the sport leaves me you know i would like to live at my top the top of my game you know yeah that's so, we, we, we will see we will see how because you know like uh human plan and uh god this plan 
yeah but we will see Absolutely. And uh, one of the last things I just wanted to ask you about, Francis, because I know we're short on time. Um, I'm sure you saw and have been asked about Dana White making these comments the other day saying that, you know, the the idea that you made more in boxing uh, than you would have if you stayed in the UFC was a myth and all that's not true. Um, I know you didn't leave the UFC purely for the money. You had multiple reasons. We've talked about this many times before. But for him to come out and say, you know, that whole idea is a myth. Do you have any response to that? Well, I think um, personally at this point, uh, it's been a while that uh, I wasn't taking any, I, I don't take anything uh, from Dana White as a credit. You know, I don't take, give any importance because uh, things that he said a lot of time cannot make sense. And, uh, but for, just for the statement, I would say for the ev everything that I left the UFC for, every single thing, uh, I have had more, way more. So I don't know. I mean, I say everything, May, name it, and just say thing that I have had way more. Yeah. This is just, just for the reference. Yeah. Maybe to this that. day, you're very comfortable with every decision you made. Very. I fight today. This day, I fight because I love fighting. I don't fight because I need to pay bills or because I need to pay debt. Oh, I don't fight because I need to make a living. I fight really like because I want, you know, like I can just say, okay, I'm out and I'll be good. Yeah, exactly. Well, in the last time that you see him. Yeah, exactly. And just last thing, Francis, um, on the UFC side, Alex Pereira has kind of blown up as a big star over there. And a lot of people are talking about him moving to heavyweight. Do you think Alex Pereira could be successful in the UFC at heavyweight, maybe even win a title there in a third division? uh you never know but uh, i think like uh even when he was in the middleweight uh glover texera said alex Te uh, texera um, alex ferreira will end up in uh, in heavyweight mm -hmm. and uh he definitely will be successful champion possibly for how long i don't know but yes it's possible Especially if John and Stipe both retire, that division kind of opens up. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, I mean, you still have like uh, Aspino and stuff, but um, yeah. Yeah. And last thing, were you surprised by the way Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois went down? Mm, surprised, no, but let's say that wasn't the outcome. That wasn't how I was seeing it. But, you know, again, it's a fight game. For sure. And uh, you did most of this camp in Paris, right? Yes. Yeah. And why did you choose to do that in particular? Well, I just chose to do it here. I mean, I just decided that, okay, let's change. Let's go to Paris uh, for this time. Maybe next time I will be in China or whatever, wherever, wherever please me, I'll go. Yeah. Um, well, we'll see you next week in Riyadh. I'm flying out there on Monday. Um, third straight fight there. They love you over there. Do you think your most of your fights going forward are going to be there? Or do you hope to fight like in Africa or the U.S. again at some point in the future? Yeah, I hope. Um, basically in Africa, but um, I enjoy fighting in Riyadh. Though. Yeah, they treat you very well over there. I've seen it with my own eyes. They, they treat me very well. For sure. In Riyadh. We'll see you over there in a few days, Francis. We'll talk more during fight week. I really appreciate your time and uh, best of luck over the next few days. I'll see you soon. Okay. Thank you, man.